Okay, um, sorry, uh, the actual tape, the minutes um, cut off. I think there's about 15 minutes to play with. Um, so I'm just, you know, going to finish what I was, conclude, I should say, what I was saying. So I was saying that, you know, I have another case, but this is the case that I'm currently doing at the moment. Um, it's like that in the UK. Whether you want to do law or not, you end up having to do it. Um, that's the case. What they've done is actually changed the reference number, the court reference number, because um, I, I was awarded default judgment. I was ordered to, uh, awarded judgment. You can see judgment for claimant for damages to be assessed. I, I, I end up in the court on the 31st of January, January. This was sealed in December last year. This year I went to court in January only to find that my case was just removed. Just removed. This is an official document. And this is why I talk about, I've you know, talked about the blockchain being used in the judiciary so that they can't forge and change records because they're doing it all the time. This is what's happening, you know, to favour who, whichever party um, they want to favour. And that's got nothing to do with the law, you know. So anyway, I'm in court again in April, just coming up. Today is the 4th of April. It's the 4th, the 4th. And YouTube, I just posted the other video. It says the 3rd. They always backdate it one day. That's what they're doing. You know, during the purge, they actually, with me, they were, I, I've been purged for the longest time. They kicked me off Facebook in 2015 um, because I was exposing the criminal cartel who were doing the false flags, who did the Paris false flags, Charlie Hebdo, 7-7, seven, seven, most of the false flags, they are behind it. And I was exposing it with other people, and they kicked me off Facebook in 2015. So I'm no, no stranger to the purge. But what I'm saying is that it's not just censorship. Censorship is one aspect. But you have the obstruction of justice. You know, crimes, horrific crimes, let's be real, horrific crimes are being perpetrated against innocent people, defenseless people. Some of them happen to be minors. Okay? People who cannot defend themselves that more time don't even know that they're, they're a target. Right? And we have a situation where they don't want people talking about that because it means people will be arrested. And they don't want to be arrested. So they're monopolizing the situation so that they don't get arrested. And so this is what we're talking about, because you're slowly, slowly, slowly getting closer to the core of the filth. You know, all this stuff about Cambridge Analytica and Facebook. I've been exposing organized IP crime for the longest time. That's what these organizations are all about. That's what the cl cloud is about. It's about data mining and stealing people's intellectual property, stealing people's lives. They sell people's lives. They sell it onto the market. They watch people and they embed their TV soaps, you know, like popular soaps in the UK, like uh, EastEnders and all these dramas, Emmerdale, they've got ones on... Um, Channel 5, Home and Away, they have all these TV shows, and in order to embed the pot plot line, what they're doing is they're watching people inside their homes. You know, there is a link, actually, somebody actually gave me a link once, I can't remember what it is now, but there's a link that you can go on and you can literally watch people inside their bedrooms, and they don't know that you're watching them. It's horrific. And it's being done to all of us. Okay, now the targeted individuals are the ones who are making noise. That's the only distinction. We're the ones that are saying this is what's happening and we're exposing it. But everybody's targeted right about now. They want to nuke 
London. They want to nuke the USA. They want to nuke all over the place. That's what they're doing. They've got people going in underground bunkers right now. Right? Look at this selling their stocks and people because they, they anticipate that this is going to happen. The more channels you go on in social media, they're talking about war and survival and this is the kind of rhetoric that's being pushed out there. This is the narrative that's being pushed out there because that's what they're trying to implant in people's psyche and people's consciousness. War, the end of the world. This is what they're trying to push and they're trying to make people accept. You don't have to accept it. You don't have to accept it and you should not accept it. How can you sit down there knowing that there are people that are planning to murder, mass murder? This is what it is, it's mass murder. They're committing mass murder all over the place. Okay, how can you sit there and uh, think that this is going to run? It's not going to run. The people who are going to stop it are the ordinary people. And the way that we have right now is social media. They're trying to shut it with their Bill of Rights. Who's doing the Bill of Rights? Who's writing the Bill of Rights? AT&T, isn't it AT&T? That is connected to CNN. You go to CNN and try to talk your truth on CNN and see if they'll let you on there. And that's who's going to be doing the Bill of Rights. And you people are shouting for the Bill of Rights. No, there shouldn't be no Bill of Rights. If it's going to be a Bill of Rights, it's not by these people, because these people are going to use it to shut it down. Why do you think the UK was in China? Listen to what they said at Davos, in that meeting at Davos. They need to find a way to stop the truth getting out, to stop people talking, to censor. That's what they want, censorship. Why? Why do they want censorship so desperately? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Have they done something wrong? Bob Marley said, you must have done something wrong. In this case, they have done something wrong, right? They're committing crimes and atrocities against the people and they're blaming innocent people for their own crimes and it's going on again and 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 it's time to stop that bullshit now it's time to stop it this is an evil that has taken over and it's got to be reversed okay it's got to be reversed we all know what's going on how many more false flags do you need to see how many more do you need to see? How many more harp do you need to see? Nothing is being done. They're smashing the place up all over the place, killing people, torturing people, terrorizing people, and nobody's saying nothing. They're talking about somebody died in the UK. What about the Grenfell Tower people that died in the UK? 600 of them in the tower. What about that? What about the people 7-7? Seven, seven? There's never been any, the real criminals were never arrested. What about John Charles Menendez? What about my family? You know how many victims I know in the UK? You know how many victims I know up and down the UK? Have you heard about the chemical people who are saying they've been chemically tortured in the UK? Look up, what's his name? George Westcott. British man who says he's tortured in the UK, by the UK. So what? I, I, I don't know what's going on with all that situation. As far as I'm concerned, we have, to, we have enough crimes to deal with. It's mounting. They're doing crime on top, on top of crime on top of crime on top of crime. There is no police. There's none. They did a terrorist attack on me last year, a year ago, in March. Some young Caucasian guy turned up with a box full of explosives it's on YouTube. It's on my channel. Go and have a look. Go and have a look at how many white vans outside my house. I'm an ordinary person. What are they following me for? What are they following me for? Shall I tell you why? Because I know how to take them to court and win. You see? It's body law. That's what the whole targeting thing is about. They don't like the smart ones. They don't like the indigos. They don't like the star seeds. They don't like the intelligent people who can stand up and say no. 
they don't want it. And this is part of my targeting, apart from wanting to keep all my money, which they've robbed and pillaged, okay? But it's enough. And it's time, you see, they, they still follow some sort of law, which is why they put their things out there to let people know what they're going to do. If you watch my last video with Romola, you'll see that it's on the front cover of many publications that they're planning to nuke the place this year. They're trying to get it started. They're trying to say, Russians doing this, and this one is doing that, and that one is doing that. They're not asking people to look at what they're doing. What about what you're doing to the British people? What about the torture and terror and crimes against humanity perpetrated against the British people? Have you seen that the courts in, I think it was the 30th of January this year, I ruled that the UK is unlawful. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know how to open this thing. I'm using the program. I don't know how to use this program, to be honest with you. Let me see if I can open it. If I can open it, then I can show it to you. I don't know. I might have to. I don't know if this is. Is that it? I don't know. Let me see. Okay, I think the machine just stopped recording. Um, what do I say? You know, the thing is, we're living in a nightmare situation that the people are the ones who have to stop it. It has to be stopped by we, the people. And we have to make the message clear no more doesn't matter where you live no more it can be any situation whatever you think no more of no more no more pizza gate no more pindo gate no more none of it no more you have to send the message out everybody has to do it we have to make it an avalanches of no more so that the message of the people come out it's we can go out onto the street but they've co-opted all the marches and all the demonstrations everybody that goes out there is antifa it's you know, some Soros funded organization where people are being funded, you know, so you can't even march now without it being co-opted. But we have to send the message out, no more false flags, not just no more, no more false flags, no more abuse, no more theft, stealing. We have to all understand about organized IP crime. What is happening with Cambridge Analytica, Facebook, and all these organizations look into Virgin Media. They are the biggest criminals on the planet. They are behind, uh, much of this is going on. They're behind it. And so we need the people to make noise. If they shut down your Twitter, open the gap. Go to BitTube, go to DTube, go wherever, put the message out. People copy the message, send it out, but no more. We don't want no war. Send the message out. We don't want your war. Do, all you have to do is make a video, like I'm making a video, and say no more war or false flags or trafficking or whatever, slavery. No more. S express yourself. If you feel angry, get angry. You know what I mean? S express that you're sick of it. Let the world know that you're sick of it. You don't need to dissect any more false flags. You've seen enough of them to know what's going on. None of us are idiots. Okay? So, you know, this is my case. This is why they had um, terrorizing me. It's in the High Court. They've changed the reference number. I don't know if I can read out the new reference number. They changed it to obstruct it because I won. This is what they do. And so totally corrupt in the UK, total corruption in the UK. And, you know, there is no court. There is no, you know, I'm using the court system. Let's see what happens. I have to go back. I already won. They pulled the plug on the case so that, what was supposed to be a hearing for damages, it was pulled. So now I have to go back in April. So anyway, this is going to cut off. Please share this. Share it all over the place. Make your own videos. No more. Hashtag no more abuse. UK. You can say UK. You can say UK, USA, all the countries. But please join this campaign. Please, please, please do it for the children. If you're not going to do it for yourself, do it for the future generations. Okay, much love.
Thank you. Bye.